Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to watch the sixth episode of Akibichan no Seirafuku. And last episode we had a new girl, uh, Minoru, who was kind of like the, the focal point of the episode. She's very much into the whole observation thing, whether it be insects or animals or, or people, you know, or uh, Akibi in particular, right? I think that was, uh, she had plenty of notes written about Akibi. You know, I went back, I went back later and kind of like saw some of the notes and didn't have time to read and yeah, I would say Minoru really knows where to focus on the notes. That's kind of the, the impression I got looking back at it. But yeah, there was a little bit of focus on Akibi, I would say. But yeah, but uh, even though Minoru was the focus, we actually, having a like observation happy character, that was a good excuse to like have some interactions with other characters, right? Because you're observing them, right? Other students. So we get Hotaru at the vending machine, which gets boosted by Akibi. We get, you know, something that looked kind of like a love confession. And then, you know, another girl showing up being like, hey, what's going on here? I uh, I think I, I think someone needs to tell me what's going on here, but it wasn't a love confession. So there was no need for her to worry. But yeah, just a, a good chance to really just explore the school, interact with various students. And hopefully some of them we can get more in depth on, right? Because that's what's really good because the show really does know how to do those more personal interactions. Akibi will talk to someone early in the episode, you know, that they're just kind of like uh, acquaintances, but by the end of the episode, you feel like a real, a real bond has grown, you know, so if we can see more of that going forward, that would be, that would be great, but yeah, uh, the very first shot we have with the first, of this episode does have our, our blonde girl in it, so maybe that's a hint that it'll, fo it'll focus on her, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I, I, I have to have some hope, right? So yeah, let's jump right in and see how this episode goes. Three, two, one, play. Okay. Is she going somewhere? <laughs> a promising first line. <laughs> Breaking out the violin. She's so majestic, so refined. You know, you see scenes like this, and then you remember the, you know, toenail clipping scene. Bit of a contrast there. <laughs> the most important one. <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, <clears throat> there's several things we could say in response to that. That was that was, that was good. Because I saw her peeking over the desk, and I, but I didn't, like, that was already kind of cute. I didn't realize she was so, it was like, it was Erika's desk while she Erika was sitting in it. That was a great zoom out reveal to that. Uh, I don't know, I, I really like that for some reason. Uh, But yeah, I, I really got vibes from that that we are going to have an Erica focus episode. So I am all for that. <laughs> that was just a great starter. I, that was great. Akabee's the best, as usual. I mean, just look at that little, like, mutual look at each other giggle scene. Because, uh, yeah, I really do think that she has the potential to be the closest to Erica out of everyone. That's kind of the impression the opening and stuff gives me. And she was the first girl met, right? So. And anyway, generally has a that kind of bias towards the the first girl, right? I just noticed that the feet were kind of crossed in that one shot. There's some shots of this opening kind of remind me of the <clears throat> the Asobi Asobasi opening, which, you know, was a lie. There's no school tomorrow, right? <laughs> Very hopeful title. Kinky. <laughs> See, will they really not have school over rain? I mean, I guess if it's bad enough. Okay, we're going to bring Erika here. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> yes, we don't want to have a shameful room when she gets here. I kind of wish they wouldn't bother to sub the, the weather report there. It just throws me off. We do need, we do need more interactions with the little sister, though. Just say, hey babe, come over, you know. <laughs> I don't think it'd <laughs> I don't think it'd be that difficult. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh no, she spotted me. Yeah, you're just really like coming across as a stalker. You really should clarify what's on your mind. And that's, yeah, how we got to this point. It makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, we just gotta, gotta confess at this point what we've been, what's been on our mind. <laughs> when you're nervous, Kago, Kago comes out. Fuck it. <laughs> that's one pickup line. <laughs> I mean, that's a good answer. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, come on, don't let that be, don't let that scare hurt you off. Uh, I'm sure she still wants to come over and hang out. Uh, I mean, fixing it, it would be a good thing, but don't let that stop you from bringing her over. Oh, oh, she's, she's, just, she's the one coming, kept bringing the invitation. <laughs> yeah, she can tell there's more. <laughs> oh, that really got her excited. Oh, is this going to be what gets her to come over? She really is a weird one. What gets her excited? That, that alone sounds kind of fun. <laughs> that sister teamwork. <laughs> She's definitely coming over. Is she gonna ask to be allowed to come over? So yeah, this is a real in reverse on the situation. You know, if it, if it works for you. Yeah, are we making some connections? I think we can think she's got it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that, <laughs> that was a get a room cough right there. You know, interrupting them as they're like gazing, gazing each other. Are you pink, pinky promise? Wow. Oh, wow, that face. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I, I actually wasn't ready for that. Uh, that got a lot more intimate than I was expecting. Damn. <clears throat> I, need a, I need a minute. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Whew, I'm, I'm good. Whew. I just feel like I just saw a work of art right there. <clears throat> also, you're looking good. I could be... I, I, whatever your name is, uh, Erica. Uh, Because I was watching that scene, and I was like, oh, we're going to get like a pinky promise sort of thing. That's that's cool. But man, it, it was so much more than that. It was so much more than that. Also, lovely water. Uh, maybe that has water. <laughs> Such beautiful scenery. I mean, this show's always been good at that. So there's that could be. It's kind of a long skirt. Yeah, can't can't just do that. Gotta look our best for Erika. I wouldn't say that. Just gotta find her. Yeah, just follow the sounds of the splashing. 
Uh -huh. Just off with a skirt. Okay. Okay, man, I was... I almost made a comment earlier about you know, getting slow loop vibes because of the book and all that, but... That was very similar to something that straight up happened in the first episode of Slow Loop, and... <laughs> okay. I... I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that in anime before. A swim, like, tackle hug sort of thing. That that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna let a bunch of water stop me from running and giving a passionate hug greeting. We have so much left. We have like half an episode left at least, too, so. <laughs> Matching hats. I mean, slightly different color, but for the most part, matching hats. But yeah, this is the, this kind of stuff is the reason I get up in the morning. Okay, what do you got? Is that a problem? If she says so. That water looks so refreshing. Already? It's like five seconds. Oh, she really got one. Okay. I really shouldn't have underestimated her. <laughs> What'd you say? Abu Dhabi? Yeah, I have faith in you. It might take you more than five seconds, but I'm sure you'll get... That was our fish, bird! Ah, uh, that smug look, too. Yeah, make her feel better, Erika. Or... Yeah, God, give me... Would you like to use my rice? Yeah, I love the bird guy you on the best spots. I just I'm straight up watching slow loop now. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> well, we're not trying to catch the wood, but it's gonna get stuck, isn't it? I had a feeling. I'm a very unlucky person, so I could, in my mind's eye, see that happening once it hit the wood. Guys, he walk in the water. Don't step on the fish. You'll get it. Just don't break it. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> it's a little things in life. Is the ring actually gonna... Is, yeah, the wiggling definitely... I can see that kind of enticing a fish. No, I think it might be a legit fish this time, so I better not let go. Because that was definitely, like, a big one. Might actually need to have a... Uh, I could be cut from behind to help support you. Uh, I could be... I think she might need some help over there. She's actually deeper in the water than I thought she was, too, so... That especially would make it kind of hard to get the... What's the word for it? Momentum? Uh, leverage? Hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now grab. Or, I just... I didn't mean grab that, but don't... Okay. I... I this was my fault. I should have specified. I should have... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I, I should have clarified. 
<laughs> like a dog to shake the water off. <laughs> they can be if, you, if they're in their territory. You know, if they're big enough. Okay, so, got some teamwork. Kind of like what you mentioned with the sister and stuff. Completely in sync mentally, too. They got this. Uh, okay, it looked too big in that shot, but... Uh, uh, did, did we get it? <laughs> okay, I mean, I need to see it, like, next to their arm for scale, but... but we got it. <laughs> Just don't poke yourself with the, the hook. <laughs> Good picture, too. I don't think I've ever seen her have so much fun before. That's no trouble at all. We 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 are all happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, naturally gotta get them both in. Uh, yeah, here we go. The main event. <laughs> the splashing each other. It's not a proper beach episode without that. I know we're not really at the beach, but you, it's, you know. We got water and swimsuits. And there's been so many really pretty shots of Erika this episode. Yeah? I, I would say so. Is that a yes? I think it's a yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's no one around, really, so just, you know, pick a spot. <laughs> uh, were you? I feel like you weren't. <laughs> they were not quite on the same page on that one. But hey, if it's a reason to bring her back to her place, I'm not going to complain. Although I would have been okay either way. Yeah, she gets to meet the little sister. <laughs> Uh, oh. You, you scared her off. <laughs> uh. Mother getting some ahead of time warning. Yeah, it is quite a nice place, isn't it? Apparently she lives in a legendary house. Yeah, she actually kind of looked like, like a yokai holding that thing earlier. In Beijing, yeah. <laughs> it can't be helped. But man, mother really makes them look short. It's definitely a top tier picture. <laughs> she just met her, she already gets head pass from her. Uh Good idea. <laughs> yeah, we were actually yeah, we did we did we did take a video, didn't we? You, you can post that online, get a lot of views and subscribers. She's the best the best mother. That's a face. Uh what what emotion was that face trying to convey? I don't think I quite understood. Uh I mean, that makes sense. Oh. Is that what the issue was? Okay. <clears throat> Jealous. <laughs> wow, she just straight up admits it, too. She's a very straightforward, honest person. Here we go. 
I assume she hasn't spent as much time out outside as you have. No, it's just just right. Yeah, her skin's already plenty of red, I think. Naturally. Okay. So she's getting out first. Is there a particular reason why she wanted to spend longer in there? And the show is all about that, you know, sailor, sailor, but her casual clothes are pretty great too. And, you know, the swimsuit as well. Well, she's got a girl over. She's got to ask a little differently. I mean, if it's the first time, you know, when H.L. has brought a girlfriend over, then I guess she would be a little bit surprised by that. <laughs> she is a little lock of each other. <laughs> Please do. Because that's where you get the good gossip from the little sister. The good stories. <laughs> wow, uh, I, 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 I mean, I think we saw something like that before, but I, I, just, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> now, now Eric needs to give it a try. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> I please give me all the stories, all the details. I will, I will, I will take them all. What? I want to see it. I want to see. <laughs> She's going to drop those. <laughs> I'm sure she thinks you're plenty cool, though. Don't worry about it. You are You are plenty cool, so. You offer it plenty, trust me. Although I would like to have seen the, the phone picture. <laughs> All together. Man, they are a close family. And I love it. Uh, yeah, definitely the kind of family that makes you feel welcome when you go there for the visit, to hang out. They has got normal Akebi, big Akebi, and little Akebi. <laughs> now she's all alone. Oh, uh, want to want some parting words? Oh, okay. Oh, making it very clear that we leveled up our relationship. Uh, I still feel more natural calling her Akibi because it's in the title of the show. <laughs> I want to take a better look at that final shot. Was it like was it like the skirt flipped up or something? Uh don't play the credits. Please don't just play the credits. <sighs> the fastest ten minutes of my life, I'll tell you that. So far, you know, until this episode, no episode had gotten quite as good as episode three, but the show, this episode, definitely, they, I, I would say it managed that. I don't want to say this was better than episode three yet, because, you know, recency bias, I, I just finished watching this, but... But... Right now I'm feeling like I like this more.
They don't even give us a preview. I know I skip previews, but still. Uh, <clears throat> so, that was the sixth episode of Akibi Chan no Seidofuku. And this was some pretty good stuff. This was some pretty good stuff. The uh, the focus of this episode was Erika, you know, and Akibi's relationship with her, right? Because, um, where did that actually start? Where did she get the idea to, to, to have her come over? Because now we had kind of like a bit of a flash forward with the whole desk, you know? As, asking why she'd been staring at her all day. But, because, yeah, I think we just had a scene where she just suddenly, like, I want to invite her over, right? Yeah, okay, I've made up my mind. Next weekend, I'm inviting my friend over. And, I mean, I figured she's referring to Erika, especially because we did have that, you know, that bit at the start. But, yeah, it seemed to be mostly a spontaneous, spontaneous sort of thing, but I'm sure she's probably been feeling what the audience are feeling, what I have been feeling, which is Erika hasn't quite had the focus that she should have, right? So... Even even Akibi realizes she needs to do something about that, and I'm definitely appreciate her her taking that step. But it has been raining. It has been um, you know, I guess the house is a leak, which is not great. But you know, just make sure to get a fix when you can. And then we had like a, a shot of uh, actually, what were they doing? Like, because we had like a we had a uh, I I can't describe this. I'm just gonna just show it. Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah, this, this thing here. Like, what exactly were they doing in this shot? Like, were they just, like, dusting slash dancing at the same time sort of thing? I mean, it's an incredibly cute shot. Like, amazing. But uh, I just, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure how to, how to describe that. But, yeah, that, I, I, yeah, that was good, whatever it was. But, yeah, we also had a little bit of a montage of Akibi trying to invite her over and also kind of, like, struggling, which seemed to, you know, actually was a little bit surprising. Really, because usually Baku is generally pretty straightforward and and all that. But yeah, there definitely was a little bit of hesitation and worry in regards to this specifically. And uh, I love that one little pose she does when she's at the desk. But yeah, eventually we're able to to get it get it out. But it did kind of require a little bit of a uh, you know a little bit of push from Erica herself because uh, we actually had a nice little library scene, which reminded me of the bit with Tojo. Was it? Where, you know, the, the scene where Akabi was reading with the girl, I think it was Tojo, you know, right? Kind of reminded me of that. On top of, you know, reminded me of Slow Loop and all that with the with the fishing theme. But, yeah, Akabi pretty much talked about the lake by her house. And, ah, Erika seemed to get pretty excited about that. Like, I don't think we had any evidence until now that she was, you know, into, fish, into fishing. Like, that was something that she thought that she wanted to do, right? But, yeah, talking about Akabi, her place, the, the lake and all that. She clearly found this to be a pretty good chance to to do so. So, uh, you know, they finally met in the middle, and we were successfully able to invite her over for a nice, fun fishing trip, right? And um, that was definitely something to look forward to. And uh, yeah, we had some random girl being like, "Shut up, you two! This is a library." Which you know, yeah, you, you can't really make too much of, of a of a racket in the library. They they generally frown frown frown, frown upon that, but yeah. This scene right here, though, this scene just, I don't think I have the words to do this scene justice, because we just have smiles, we have blushing, we had like, Erika start off with like a pinky thing, and I was like, hey, we're gonna have like a pinky promise, it's great, you know, because then we have Akibi pretty much in the same thing, gets her pinky ready, and then we have like a zoomed out shot where, you know, like, I feel like they're about to do it, right? But there's like a little bit of like, you know, fidgeting, if you want to call it that, right? A little bit of, uh, you know, embarrassed sort of awkwardness, right? Where they're trying to align, you know? I guess is the idea, but we we do have Erika's hand go towards Akibi's, right? And this is the point where my mo my my weary feelings—I don't know what you want to call them—I I felt it like starting to well up, right? And I was starting to get into that bit of an excited period, and then just suddenly like zoom in on Akibi's gorgeous eyes, and then they <laughs> then it shifts the camera back over to to Erika, who does like a very slow, cute whispering sort of thing. Right? While we have, you know, again with a blush and like, I don't know what they did to her face there, but it, it looked much more fancy, pretty, artistic. I don't know the best word to describe it, but it, it seemed like they did something to make it special there. And then we had like a really zoomed out shot where we actually see Erika, like, f her face pretty quickly going towards Akabi's face. And I think that's about the, the part where, where I lost it, because that could not have looked any more like a kiss that they tried. We had, you know, that whole thing from Erika's part, you know, we had uh, 
And I could be like slightly closing her eyes, slightly looking away. And you know, just uh, Erika's face like just right there. You know, blushing on both sides. Eyes just shoot open on on Akebi. But yeah, Erika basically just whispering into her ear about, you know, looking forward to it and all that. And, you know, she does it quietly because she doesn't want to be yelled at again. But, man, did they just, uh, this looked so intimate. I was just kind of losing it through the whole scene. Like, uh, uh, I don't know, man. I just was watching it again now as I'm talking about it. And then finally we got the the pinky, the pinky promise, you know, while her hands, other hand is on her hand and... Just, Jesus Christ, this whole scene was a highlight of the episode, I swear. I mean, you, you can't really beat that. That was just kind of literal perfection. Oh, God, that made it my favorite scene on the whole show so far. Like, I, I the more I think about it, the more I think that, that may have been it. Like, we had some good stuff before, you know, the, the, the mutual music listening to on the iPod or whatever. You know, the book reading thing that I talked about before. Those are good, too. Uh, you, you, what was your name? Uh. Tanigawa taking the selfie, you know, we've had some good moments in the show, no no, no doubt, but man, I think that may have done it. I think that may have been my favorite single scene in the whole show. But, even if that was the best one, there were still plenty of good ones left. Because you have Erika, you know, at the lake ahead of time, and she just looks so happy to be there, like, the whole time, you know. We, uh, we gotta just sit in there like that, you know, big old Erika... Big old Erika smiled, just like, I'm here. I'm at the lake. I'm actually here. I got my fishing equipment. The fish are over there. Akiba's going to be here soon. This is so great. Like, you can really feel the enthusiasm and excitement from her. And I was, it was kind of infectious. Like, I was starting to get into it, too. And then we had Akiba show up, who I initially, initially thought she was early, but no. Uh, uh, Erika was really excited to do this, so she wasn't going to be late or anything. Like, she's going to get there pretty, pretty early. And luckily, her stuff was over there, so she could tell that she was already there eventually. And then we had the stripping scene, which straight up was almost the exact same thing that happened in Slow Loop, first episode. Like, there wasn't the hug, as hug aspect of it in Slow Loop, because it was, it was episode one. The two girls didn't even really know each other yet, so it was a little bit early for a, you know, a passionate swim hug, which is what I'm going to call that move going forward. Like, but, um, otherwise, it was very similar. Stri stripping off your clothes all of a sudden, there'd be a Skull Simpson underneath, and we're trying to go into the water. Just very similar. Right. And then we had, yeah, the high-speed swimming... And it was almost like, because uh, we went like a POV perspective on Akibi at a certain point, just like rushing towards Erika. And she just, it was almost like a borderline horror movie sort of thing where Erika's like, oh no, a torpedo's going after me or a shark. But yeah, it was just a big, like, yeah, it's strength behind it too. Like, you could feel her like head like squishing into her chest, you know? Like, it wasn't like a, any kind of soft, gentle hug. That was like, I just, it was a strong hug. So she, she had been swimming pretty fast to actually make that happen. But. But that was also that was just a really great way to um, to meet up in the episode in the, in the scene, right? But uh, but yeah, they pretty much they got ready. They walked around. They saw the scenery and eventually went for the main event, which was the swimming itself. But I don't know if I, I don't know if I have too much to say about the swimming itself. Like you know, I almost feel a little bit burnt out talking about girls fishing because I've done a lot. I've done a lot in slow loop, right? You know. Yeah, <clears throat> slow loop because I've been watching it. It almost took away from 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 this fishing aspect of the show a little bit for me, because I've already got my my fix of that somewhere else. So it almost felt like getting more of something I already had enough of in the episode, if that makes sense at all, right? But it's not that big of a deal. But you know, I just I kept thinking of slow loop as I was watching the episode, which is not this show's fault at all. So I can't blame this show for that. But just because slow loop also has cute girls and Yuri undertones and stuff, but. Just anyway, <clears throat> moving moving past that. Yeah, we had the we had fishing and you know, uh that could be really good at what she does. She just like I think she had like a piece of rice on the hook and just like caught a fish in five, six seconds. Like really didn't take long at all. But uh, uh Erica took a little bit longer, but she did she did get it in the end, and it was a much more like exciting event because Akibi did it fast, but it also was a little bit not super exciting. But with uh with Erica, she had the the lion get caught on the tree thing initially, so she had to like undo that you know and then she got the fish you know how to realize she got the fish and then how to get it you know we had Akabi come in to to assist as best they can and have kind of a team effort to get it and in the end they they did triumph and they were pretty excited erica definitely pretty excited but and we got the pictures taken and they were some high quality pictures which is something the show has always been very good at without without question and just yeah just the mutual excitement the looking at each other the smiling the blushing all that stuff the show just the episode just had plenty of that to where I felt spoiled. And it was it was good. It was so, so good. 
they even took the video of themselves like running towards the water and you know having a good time splashing around just you know if this is real life they probably like post a video on tiktok or something but yeah definitely good stuff all around i mean you, just, you really couldn't ask for more in a scene like this right and of course they both look great in their respect their respective swimsuit outfit i mean would you, would you call what Eric is wearing a swimsuit? It's like a full body swimming kind of suit, so I guess kind of. But yeah, they both look great in it. Especially that final shot of them, like um, uh, this shot here. Where's my where's my cursor? Uh, oh, seriously, where's my cursor? How did I lose my cursor? It can only go so many places. Oh, I think I... Did I mess up my... Well, I can fix that later. It's not a big deal. Anyway, what I was trying to do was show you this. Like I feel like this part in particular, they made him look really good. Okay, but yeah, so I, got, I really got to fix my um, mouse DPI. I don't know how it drops so much. I usually keep it on 3200, and it was a lot lower than that. Okay, so I, I, I got that fixed. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, and then we talked about changing, and <laughs> this was a good scene, too. Eric goes like, hey, you know, do you, is there where I can change? It's like, oh, yeah, there's some nice quality trees right over there. Just um, don't worry. I'll, I'll wait for you, you know. <laughs> I just, because I think it's just the amount of subtlety in the scene that's made it good. Because she said that, and we just got a, heh? And then a response, then like a, a heh in response from Akabi. Like, barely any actual dialogue was exchanged there. But there was so much that was obviously, you know, under the surface, but what they were each saying. You know, because from Erica's perspective, she's basically saying, what do you, the way, what? That, that would, I'm not just going to change outside like some country bumpkin. Like, you know, think think I'm some kind of Inaka girl. Like, what what what, what, what is this nonsense? And then, uh. And then from Akibi's perspective, she's like, oh, uh, sorry, I just, I, this was normal to me. I, I, I forgot it might not be normal to, to everyone, so d don't worry. I'll, I, was just, I was just kidding, you know, I, 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 I got a proper place for you to change. To, to, don't worry about it. Please don't leave. You know, at least that's kind of what I imagine was under the surface of both their, both their sections of that dialogue. But, yeah, cause some anime, you know, are they have, they have a lot of, like, over-the-top dialogue and reactions to things, you know. And, and that could have happened there if this was a different kind of show, but... They, they didn't need to, so they didn't, you know. It's, it is more of a subtle reserves kind of show, and I, I do appreciate that, you know. But also, she met the little sister, which she called like a mini Akibi-chan, and she gave the warning to mother that Onei-chan had brought a friend over. And, yeah, Erika had pretty happy to the house, because I think, I guess she's passed it before, you know. But, but, yeah, I think she was pretty approving of the mother, who was just really, really tall. Like, this shot here... Like you can really see the, the the size difference. Like that's that's not that's 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 significant. So yeah, just makes me wonder how tall the mother is, honestly. But <clears throat> yeah, she's pretty happy to see Erika. You know, get to see the the beautiful girl that Akimi is always talking about. It gives her a nice head pat. We get to see the the picture, right? This wonderful picture that she took, which is ten out of ten, as we've established. So, but. <laughs> But yeah, we got that one face from Akabi. And yeah, she uh, she made it pretty clear in this scene that she a little bit jealous because she wants to be referred to by her given name, right? You know, because it is a pretty classic sign of closeness between anime characters that they do refer to each other by their, by their name. And Akabi wants some of that from Erika, which is, you know, entirely reasonable. <clears throat> right? So. And like I said, Akabi is a pretty straightforward person, so she just straight up admitted that she was jealous, which a lot of people wouldn't do that. And then we got our bath scene together. She, Erika did talk about being, you know, a little bit, a little bit embarrassed, a little bit hesitant to get naked in someone else's house, but clearly she was able to handle it just fine, and it all worked out pretty well. Oh uh, yeah, we have a hair drying scene. Let's see, oh yeah, this bit here. <laughs> yeah, the um, she just smacks it. Oh uh, god, right in front of Erika. And the look of surprise on her face was great too, because she wasn't expecting that. But as um, as <clears throat> as Kao says, her butt makes a really good noise when you smack it, so I, I was kind of hoping Erika would try it at that point. That would have made it a 10 out of 10 scene, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it'll probably take a lot of guts to do that, you know, right in front of, er of uh, Akabi's mother. So, you know, I can, I can kind of understand why she maybe might not want to do it there, but I, I was still I was still hopeful. But, yeah, just great stuff all around. You know, I could be in the background holding the drinks, shaking because of all the, you know, 
other Sharon, the mother and them, are doing to Erica about her because I guess to her it undermines the the, the cool the cool Akabi she's trying to be, you know. But eventually said her goodbyes and everyone was like so in sync too and it's very clear that very clear that Erika enjoyed her time with her. And then when we had a shot of it of just Akabi in the car, you, you can really like feel the the absence of Erika in that scene. Like we had just lost a piece of this family. You know, like like Komichi, or no, I, I said her name because it was on screen. Um, Erika, she basically made sure, while she was running away, you know, made sure to let her know that she will call her Komichi going forward and that she should call her Erika. And I really couldn't imagine a better way to, a better, like, parting scene between them, like that sort of thing, that sort of very, very clear putting into words ascension of the relationship, you know, while they're literally, you know, physically leaving each other, you know, that uh, that dialogue that makes, makes it clear that they have become closer, even in a scene where they're physically, technically going in different directions, you know, separating, you know, it's all just, it was all just so perfect, you know, the, the, the goodbye. And then, you know, we have, uh, I could be in bed looking at the pictures on their phone, just overall really happy with how the, the trip went, right? So, like, the episode was just kind of perfect. Like, there were a couple little additions I would have liked, you know, such as the Erica butt slapping and maybe one or two other things, right? Like, like an actual kiss, you know, certainly would have added extra points. But as far as, 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 far as like, reasonable expectations go, I, I really couldn't have expected anything better than what I got here. This was just a 10 out of 10 episode all around. And, you know, they made me wait a while. They made me wait a while for that for that Erika focus, but they gave it to me, and they really delivered when they did, so I I, I can't complain. I, I I can't. This was this was good stuff. This is kind of these are the kind of episodes that made me really, really glad I picked up this show. And this and, and kind of reaffirmed within me that this very well could be anime of the season. But with the between the great scenery, visual stuff, you know, the great animation, the prioritized animation, you know, good stripping scenes and all that. You know, the uh, the great cast of girls, the interactions between the girls, you know. Like, it pretty much just, like, checks almost every box that would, that's important for this kind of show. And just does it with flying colors. So, I'm just, I'm really glad this show is airing. I'm really glad this is a part, a part of the anime season. It would, it would, life wouldn't be the same without it. Yeah, I really love really loved the episode. I hope you did as well. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.